So first of all, I wanted to welcome all our Cyber Sangha members. Um, right now we are doing three day retreat on Zoom. So this is our last day. And this session we are transmitting out through the Facebook Live. So I have no idea. Usually I use my phone, I could see all the hearts and the messages and a lot of things, activity, but I, it's a resting right now. <laughs> so, so I hope Facebook is continuing working and you all are able to hear me, see me clearly. In our Zoom room, Zoom temple, uh, we have over 660 people right now in Zoom room, which is inside Zoom. Then we have all the people from outside the Facebook. So, so we are two different worlds together here. So welcome everybody. Happy to share this uh, part of this retreat, uh, Zoom retreat with everybody else in our Cyber Sangha. So this retreat weekend has been the melody of silence, the power of silence, the melody of silence. And we have been uh, really trying to go deep in meditation and trying to find that silence in our body, uh, to find that silence in our speech, to find that silence in our mind and our heart. And we all know what does that mean. In some way we know. And as we all going through this really uh, global crisis um, with this uh, coronavirus, and uh, and particularly in, I mean, everywhere, particularly in the US, US this moment has been a really difficult moment. And, uh, you know, particularly next two weeks, <clears throat> so much uh, things are happening, so much uh, deaths are expected. And, and But then hopefully everything will be uh, fine. Uh, so as a, as a result of this virus, we all around the world, we are experiencing a lockdown, a term that everybody is using, lock, lockdown. And it does not really sound nice. Lockdown, locked in. And, um, and I, don't, I hope that not, none of you are feeling like that. I, I hope you're not feeling locked in and locked down. I hope you are feeling like a personal retreat the retreat that you wish to do, the personal time that you wanted to spend, personal times of quality time that you wanted to share with your family, or personal time that you wanted to think about something, reflect on certain things, and uh, to look at your life, to deal with certain things, to catch up with the rest, catch up with the sleep, catch up with connections and so on. I hope this is a, uh, I hope you are taking this moment uh, very positively and using it very positively because in history, <clears throat> we will always remember this time when we look back. And I hope what right now what we are trying to do is creating this uh, beautiful um, memory and experiences that we will remember the challenge but we will also remember how everybody came together, how everybody was calm and quiet and, and connecting with their strength and clarity and doing the right thing, being in the right way. And remember, looking back, I hope this will be a beautiful, uh, good memory uh, that we are experiencing a lot of enrichment in ourselves. So noise, <clears throat> talking about the melody of silence, Noise is what we know, very clearly we know. And if you look around now in the cities, you know there is no noise there. Big shopping malls, the airport, the train station, the bus stops, the cafes, the restaurants, highways. There is not much noise there right now. There is a stillness there. 
there is not much of pollution there. There's more clear sky. There's more luminous sun. There's more cleaner airs. There's no more some sense of serenity and peacefulness because noise has been forcefully shut down. And, and, and as, as a result of this, we all felt the same thing. We felt uncertainty, we felt anxiety, we felt, we don't know, unhappy, scared, agitated. We, I, you know, when you walk in the street, you can feel that. You see people, you feel that. Not the same. But slowly, people got used to being a little bit more still, got used to a little bit more talking less, got used to not always thinking about something, got used to the stillness that I'm talking, the silence that I'm talking, the spaciousness that I'm talking. Not only got used to it, but actually began to like it. Actually, I'm not talking about just eating in the fridge, eating more and I'm not talking about that kind. I'm talking actually liking the quietness, the peacefulness, the silence. And when people experiencing that, when people are making some connection to the stillness and silence, they become more alive. They become more alive, more joyful. more awaken. They begin to sing in the streets through the windows. The police begin to play music and singing songs in the neighborhoods. Usually police people don't do that. They get they, when they come to your neighborhood, it's not a good thing. You see, people begin to discovering their playfulness, their kindness, their warmth, sharing that with their music, their services. Right now, everybody here in the Bay Area, so many people are making masses. So good side of us comes out. So these are like a melody. When the noise goes down or forcefully let it go down, hard to get used to the silence. Silence can be threatening. The stillness can be threatening. But when you see it, when you feel it, it's a beautiful thing. It's an enlightening thing. It's an opening thing. It's a discovering thing. It's knowing different aspect of yourself, who truly you are and how, what truly you feel, what truly you can do out in the world from that pure expression of your heart and warmth coming from that place of silence. So that is the melody of the silence. So I, so I wanted to lead a little bit meditation into this today. And, uh, and I want everybody to really try to bring a lot of more awareness, not theory, intellectual, what people should do, who should do what, what's happening to you, what you're feeling, what you're going through, being more, and kind of what kind of noises in your body, what you're experiencing, what kind of noises in your head, what kind of noises in your heart. Uh, these noises, these disturbing frequencies, vibrations, just being more aware of that, being more aware of you're not doing you know, anything wasting your time uh, in, 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 in impacting somebody else, uh, even with the family members, you're not arguing people with people, you know. Uh, you're, you're opening, you're sharing, you're connecting through that silence. You're not arguing, fighting through that noises that you always had it, but you have managed to 
avoid it by going to the work and by skipping each other. Now you are put together here. You're in, enjoying the melody and the beauty of the silence and not interfere by this noises that you don't hear. And you're always been successfully able to ignore it. This is your, our opportunity to hear it, let it go and connect to deeper silence and enjoy the melody of that silence. So please sit comfortably. Bring your full attention, awareness, to this moment, to your place, in your body. And allow your body to breathe deep and release all the tensions and efforts it's holding this moment. Just breathe, breathe deep and allow your body to fully rest as a whole body from the crown to the sole of the feet, allow it to fully rest down by breathing deep. Now gradually you bring your attention for entire body to closer, narrow down, like zooming in, like a camera toward your heart, toward this area, like a heart chakra. Toward your heart. Imagine your heart who is threatened, challenged, who is in pain, who feels the wound, who is feeling a lot of effort, not settled, not grounded. It's like you're a child. Your awareness is like a mother. So mother is moving toward the child bringing attention toward the child with gentleness, with kindness, with openness, with non-judgmental, no matter what's happening, but she, she's, she's trying to be open and trying to see what's going on in your heart. and see what's going on in your heart. The anxiety, the fear of uncertainty, unknown. And because of these thoughts, emotions, the waves of these emotions, like in the ocean, not feeling so much still, not feeling so much calmness, not feeling so much connectedness. Be aware of that, observe that. Now 
knowing that you are not calm is the beginning of feeling calm. Awareness transforms things. So be aware. Allow your heart to rest these frequency, this vibration, these noises of fear, anxiety. Allow it to breathe, allow it to rest, allow it to settle, allow it to ground by being aware of these feelings by breathing out, by breathing deep. Each time when you breathe, breathe deeper, connect deeper, and deeper layers of those anxieties and wounds. Breathe out. Breath is medicine. Breath heals. Breath clears. Breath moves. So allow the awareness of the breath to do its work. Breathe deep, continue from your heart. And also feel you're not alone. In the Zoom here, we have over 700 people in the Zoom. And there are many more people outside in the Facebook. Cyber Sangha, what I say is a cyber Sangha. We might not know each other personally, but we know each other in this moment. And we are connected this moment. And we are opening our heart to each other this moment and open yourself to receive the power of blessing of collective practice. And yourself also be open and give. Everybody needs your support and prayer. Give that, we are ready. We are open to receive your blessings. So feel the connection through that exchange. Continuously breathe deep. And when you forget breathe, to breathe deep, to be aware of these feelings and tension and noises to breathe out, it's okay to moment time to time forget. But it's not okay to not notice that you forgot. And it's not okay to not reconnect. So remember that. Continue and breathe from the heart and rest deeper and deeper after each breath. We will listen to the Salavir Mantra one more time. Salavir Mantra is a, a powerful mantra. A man, we call mantra of clear light. It's able to clear things from our heart. It's able to light, it's able to illuminate the sacred space in our heart. So when we hear the mantra, if you wanted to sing the mantra, feel that that is what is happening.
Remember to breathe deep from your heart. Remember to be aware of any wounds, pain, discomfort, efforts that you're living, you're judging, but you are never bringing awareness to it. This is opportunity to bring the light of mm -hmm. awareness to this darkness of pain. That's the only way they can clear from the root. So breathe with awareness. Bring the light of awareness in the heart. Allow your heart to rest from all the noises. Collectively, this is a global opportunity to experience that true heart, connected heart, warm heart. Individually, it's our opportunity, your opportunity this moment to acknowledge, to recognize truly what's happening in your heart, not what should happen in the world to someone, others, but what is happening to you, in you, right now, these days. These noises, these negative vibrations, these hundreds and thousands of negative thoughts coming from fear, coming from media. And these noises are affecting your body, your immune system your heart, your ab ability to, to feel clear, think clear. Recognize that. So go in, recognize these feelings and breathe out deep from your heart. And each, each breath, literally each breath, when you exhale deep, feel deeper, Resting, deeper grounding, deeper connecting to that inner silence and feeling deep sense of peacefulness. Continue.
Remember to continuously maintain your attention in your heart. Remember to breathe deep and breathe out deep whatever discomfort, anxiety, pain that you are able to be aware. Breathe out. These feelings does not need to criticize and judge. They should not be suppressed. They should not be manipulated. They should not try to control. Because control in, is in the first place give the birth to them. They should be with open heart, with open awareness, with open eye, with open connection, need to be seen, felt, connect, and allow to breathe. And let them go and feel free or at least in the heart, feel more. Your body is resting more. Connecting more. Building your immune system stronger. Feeling more positive. Able to see more light. able to see more things what you can do to help yourself and serve others. Breathe deep, rest deeper. Feel that through your body, through your heart, in your heart. Continue. And also remember that we are all here. <clears throat> Connecting with each other. This physical distance brought the closeness of our heart.
feel the silence around you, within you. Feel the silence of that stillness in your body. Feel the silence in your head. It's quiet. And be aware, we know there's a stillness and silence and space at the airports, train stations, bus stops, highways, shopping malls, streets in town. Be aware of that. Feel that in yourself in your heart. The silence is the door to realization. The silence is the door toward the health. The silence is the door toward connection. As we are experiencing more silence in ourselves, we are feeling more connections. We are feeling more light. We are feeling more warmth, kindness. We are feeling, wanting to express ourselves. Whatever we have wanted to offer, serve and share, and particularly this incredible globally challenging moment, opportunity to open, an opportunity to give and share what we have. People sharing musics, songs, that's the melody of the silence the expressions of the science. People are willing to go out of their way to help. These are power of science. Because the collective noise, collective unnecessary activities speech is taken away for a moment, we are given opportunity to experience inner silence and we are taking fully advantage of that. And when we, when we realize how beautiful, how fortunate we are to able to access our true nature through silence and discover our quality and realize yourself, new sense of self with so much more gifted qualities, potentiality, and enthusiastic about expressing them without fear. Feel that. That is, and these are, the melody of the silence, the flowers of the silence, the liveliness of the silence, the joy of the silence, the awareness of the silence. In Tibetan, we say, 
Jume Yishe, the wisdom of silence. It's a powerful manifester. Feel that. Okay, gradually you can open your eye. How are you doing? Well, I can, I cannot see our, all our people from Facebook, but I can see our Zoom people. <laughs> So once again, I hope, uh, you know, we have been keeping doing prayers and I personally um, inviting different teachers from different traditions, uh, our talented uh, musicians from our Sangha, inviting them and um, just bringing everybody to, to do something feel the connection that we can do something together and doing something together and sharing with everybody else in the world because this the thanks to the technology we can do that this i mean it's amazing what we can do you know right now just i mean i'm kind of really enjoying this this weekend you know actually you know we have like 716 people like and just able to see everybody in, in different time but closely connect with everybody and but from my comfortable bed not needed to travel and it's a it's wonderful i'm sure you're enjoying that also right i can see you're enjoying your cup of tea your in comfortable blankets your cat and dog pets next to you. But we are still infinite possibility of connection here. So, uh, so in short message is this is this challenging moment, like any other challenging moment, but this is the one biggest one globally, collectively as a family, this is a challenge. It's like a test. And you definitely wanted to get A, not B, not C, not D. You wanted to get A. And when you look, this is one something that you will remember forever. When you look back, you wonder to think, wow, it was so difficult, so challenging, hard to believe. But we all did well. As a family, we did well. As a community, we did well. Personally, I did well. Globally, we are sending, connecting with everybody. Fantastic. And we came over through it. We will come over through it, for sure. Amazing technology, means of communication, global collaboration, scientists, for sure. We have incredible people out there. Trust something collective goodness will come out, everything will be fine. But individual tests that you are going through right now, that's a different thing. All those scientists has nothing to do with how crazy you are going in your kitchen. Opening up the fridge and eating everything, that they cannot do anything, you know. There's nothing to do with the scientists. They just be careful with those things. <laughs> See how you're handling your fear and tensions and anxiety. So make the best out of this 
difficult situation, and I'm sure you will, and all my love, my blessings with all of you, and I feel all of your support too. So we are doing very, very well here in family. So uh, thank you so much. And um, yeah, so the, in terms of the Facebook uh, Cyber Sangha, so this Saturday, this coming Saturday, I think it's the 11th, and same time, I'm trying to keep the time same, Anam uh, Tupnya Rinpoche and Dr. Yang Dun and Ani uh, Yang Chin. Uh, so these three different uh, people I've invited and uh, they are chair practitioners and from different traditions. And so uh, they will be um, performing chair practice. Chair practice is something that really powerful kind of ways of cutting, cutting the obstacles, cutting the root of ignorance and, and uh, ego. So in some sense, these are all the cl collective challenges globally. It's the collective uh, manifestation of collective ego. What ego has created so much disharmony is kind of we are paying karmic consequences for that. So definitely has something to do with ego. And the chair practice is very much like a collective and individual cutting ego and attachment and opening heart and uh, exercising generosity. That's the chair practice. So they, I invited them. So they will be on Saturday. And then also we don't have the date yet. An, another group, so two group of chair people are coming. And I think Santiago is in the process. We are organizing another concert. And we, we don't have the date yet, but I think sometime next week, I would like to do uh, a Pardo prayers for all the people who we have lost globally. And uh, also all the next, next few days and couple of weeks, I think there are a lot, a lot of people are like dying. So I would like to bring some kind of global, uh, like a prayer of, and do the Pardo practice uh, together. So I will, but we will communicate through our cybersangha.net and Facebook. So just be alert and just uh, just be aware of what's going on, okay? So thank you so much again. Bye. Hey, you appreciate goodbye. And a reminder, everybody will be back here in 75 minutes, one hour and 15 minutes. We'll see you back. Thank you.